Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure LogMeIn using Policy Pack. I've already got LogMeIn installed on my computer here, and I'm just a regular user. As you can see, I'm logged on as a guy called eSalesUser4. I'll run LogMeIn and let's head on over to its options. As you can see, I've got the Pro Edition installed here, but the settings for the Free Edition are almost identical. So we'll start here in general, where I've got some settings such as uh, locking down the host computer, and on security I've got things like denial of service attack blocker and authentication attack blocker, and uh, advanced includes all types of features, things like proxy settings and wake on LAN. Now, don't worry, we're not going to be setting these all up in this demonstration. I just want to show you a few things of things that can generally be done. So let's see how quickly we can ensure compliance and perform desktop management quickly using Policy Pack. I'll go ahead and switch over to my GPMC Management Station computer. We'll go ahead, we'll right click over our eSales users, create a GPO, and we're going to call it Lockdown Log Me In. So this GPO is now associated with our eSales users. I'll right click over it, I'll click Edit, and I'll dive down under User Config, Policy Pack, Applications, New Application. And there it is. Policy Pack for Log Me In, along with tons of other applications like Java, Flash, Firefox, Skype, and pretty much every other desktop application your users utilize every day and you know you want to make more secure. So let's start with general. Here, um, here we've got these uh, settings that we want to lock down on the computer. So let's go ahead and uh, manipulate lock when connection has been lost and lock when the connection has been timed out. And we want to make sure that these are always checked. So notice when I uncheck these settings that the text becomes underlined, and that means that these settings values are going to be delivered by Policy Pack. To ensure that the settings are not altered by my users, I can also right-click each one and select Hide or Disable the corresponding control in the target application, so these settings will not be visible by my users anymore. In security, I've got some settings here for Authentication Attack Blocker, and I'm going to set the number of invalid attempts to 7. Finally, I'll go to Advanced, and I'll configure the proxy address for the network. And I'll right-click and select Disable the corresponding control of the target application, and users can't alter this setting either. So let's head over back to my client machine. We'll get a command prompt and run GP update. Now you can envision the user logging on for the first time or using a terminal services or a Citrix machine, starting up a VDI session or changing job roles or getting a new computer. I just happen to be using GP update. Remember, it's policy pack that performs the magic. To get the magic delivered, you can use group policy, SCCM, Landesk, case, or your own systems management tool. So even if the user is offline, your settings are always preserved because Policy Pack is always working for you in the background, making sure that what you set is what they get. So let's go ahead and open LogMeIn and check our settings. Notice that the two settings we manipulated on the General tab, Lock when the connection has been lost and Lock when the connection has been timed out, are just missing. They are set by Policy Pack, but they're also hidden by Policy Pack. We'll do a quick check under security, confirm that the number of invalid attempts allowed is set to 7, just like what we wanted. And finally, let's go to Advanced and see that our proxy server address port is set to our special IP address and the port 2. And we're done! That's how incredibly easy it is for you to use Policy Pack and manage LogMeIn, as well as tons of your other desktop applications. So, if you're looking for a trial of Policy Pack, just click on the webinar download button on the right. Thanks so much for watching, and get in touch if you're looking to get started. Talk to you soon.